Hi there. Today I want to have a look at um, connecting to the ThingWorks platform JVM using JMX. Um, there's a number of troubleshooting uh, tools that are explained in the help documentation as we're looking here. Just using Visual VM to monitor slow execution of services. Same holds true for database performance and blocking connections and things like this. And uh, frankly, I have struggled with this in the past and I've only been able to get it working uh, previously on my local system. And um, I needed to get it running on a cloud system and just wanna go through some of my findings with you because it's not so simple. Um, so first of all, you know, we look at the article, the tech support article here um, that essentially shows how to do this, how, how to get Visual VM from your JDK uh, set up and connected to the GEMX endpoint. And you can see here that there's a few, um, there's a few commands that need to be, uh, parameters that need to be added to the, the uh, Java options in the Tomcat uh, launch. Um, there's one here that, uh, that a colleague um, didn't need to add and we'll talk about that a little bit. And basically just restart, restart ThingWorks and we should be able to connect using Visual VM to localhost 9010, which is the GMX port configured up above here. Um, however, there's some issues with this. And um, I did some, some web searching on the topic specifically. Uh, this is a great article on a uh, AWS forums that's talking about uh, this particular issue. And there's a few things uh, worth noting here. And one is that if we go down a little bit further, basically, I think it's the last post talks about essentially everything that there is to, to know here is, is um, Local only is a new um, setting by default, uh, meaning that you're only going to be able to connect local only. So if you do want to do a connection from another system, you're going to have to ensure that you add this particular parameter. Um, another one is uh, just how this RMI uh, protocol works. Um, and the JMX actually works hand in hand with the RMI protocol. And because of that, uh, RMI actually does a dynamic uh, port attribution once the JMX endpoint has been connected. And this is obviously not going to work with anything like a firewall uh, for a server you might have on the internet or even just, just having a firewall. Um, so this is where this um, Tomcat for ThingWorks, if we are using ThingWorks in Tomcat, the GMX remote lifecycle listener can be can be useful where you just create a new listener in uh, Tomcat that uh, is essentially providing a static um, a static port definition for that um, RNI endpoint. And so with this in a normal configuration from the, the tech support article, you should be able to get uh, this working remotely. I didn't do this, however, and I managed to get it working because of the fact that I'm not using any remote configuration. If we have a look at what I'm doing over here, I wanted to keep this on the local system um, and then just use SSH to come in if possible. So what I've done here is, is enabled the remote access, GMX remote, set the port here to 9011 and uh, the other appropriate uh, configurations to do unauthenticated, no, not encrypted, um, JMX monitoring, and I set the, the, the local host just to the loopback to 127.0.0.1, and same for the RMI server host name. RMI server host name, this is apparently related to how the, um, you know, this other channel is going to be established. So here we're setting both the local loopback address for both of those. And specifically, also, we have to set the RMI port. So this this parameter here seems to be the one that's um, defining hard coding essentially this port. So we'll have those two ports, 9011 and 9010 for the RMI one. Uh, and then what I've done is essentially, I guess we can see it over here probably. I'm gonna have to get out of this. Right. You can see here, it's a little bit small, but uh, basically just doing a classic SSH connection to the ThingWorks server using the certificate. But I've added a couple of uh, uh, SSH um, 
port forward tunnels here that's just going from the local machine to the local machine on 9010 as well as 9011 and that's going to establish those two tunnels on those two particular ports so if i do come back over to um to here and i want to run uh, start with j console we should be able to do localhost uh 9011 doesn't like that let's do J visual VM anyways because this is really what I wanted to, to bring up so uh, once we get this open we're gonna add a gemx endpoint localhost 9011 do not require SSL connection great I didn't execute that obviously I didn't have my tunnels established now I do have my tunnels established um, let's try that again okay so we've been able to add it and okay so we're connected we can see mm -hmm. that we've got the monitor endpoints coming up here we've got the heap memory and threads check this out uh, now the one thing that uh, we don't have yet is um, the plugins so if we come into plugins for we can come into here and essentially I'm going to say um, we want the mbeans one we're going to install those plugins and I believe I have to restart this to get those plugins to come up And now you can see that I've got this MBean section here and uh, we can have a look at some of the areas specific to ThingWorks to Tomcat that um, are explained in the help file. Uh, so I hope this has been beneficial. Um, as I mentioned, there's those two ports need to be forwarded or have uh, forwards open and uh, you saw the, um, the configuration settings.